All right. Hello, everybody. My name is um, Olivier. I'm from Switzerland, and I work for the company Swisslows. And uh, thank you, Frosma, for having me here, uh, for micing me up and everything. And as everybody else, I will talk about customer experience. And my topic will be how to increase profitability through a better customer experience. All right. As said, um, I will talk about shortcuts um, shortly. Um, I will talk about why it may be, uh, be efficient for a company to actually uh, provide a shortcut. Even you have a design that you, you were like convinced that's perfect, you found that it's not really working. So it's no problem. Maybe there is a solution you can offer a shortcut. It's, yeah, you just made a mistake and maybe you can um, find another way um, to correct it. I will not though talk about the shortcut to the lunch buffet, so I please hope you will stay here for more, 20 more minutes and then um, I think lunch will follow. All right, um, I will quickly um, introduce our company because we're in Switzerland and we're just operating in Switzerland, so probably um, most of you, I don't know if there are any other Swiss people here, no? Okay, um, so it's really worth maybe um, talking about our company, what we do, and then I will present you a case that we have um, experienced on our website and that we have actually found a good solution together with Frosmo. That would be the second part. All right, our company is called Swisslos and we're their official lottery um, in Switzerland and we're just responsible for the German the Italian-speaking um, part of Switzerland, as well as Liechtenstein. Uh, we're not responsible for the French part. Um, the French part of Switzerland has actually another lottery, so a small country, but two lotteries. Um, we're a cooperative. Um, that means we're owned by the members of the cantons. The cantons are the regions in Switzerland, and the cantons that um, own us are the German, Italian um, speaking cantons as well. Our head office is in Basel. Um, those in the travel industry might know Basel from EasyJet. It's a big uh, destination. Um, EasyJet put like Basel on the map. And we are currently about 210 employees working. So what we do, we have four kind of ranges of products. We have the Lottos. Um, they're the most powerful brands are Swiss Lotto and Euro Millions. Probably Euro Millions um, is familiar to almost everybody. I do hope um, probably nobody has won it so far, so otherwise you wouldn't be here. Um, so you need to, to guess um, the numbers. There will be a drawing and the more numbers you got, um, the more um, you win. That's basically uh, what Lottos are about. Then we sell instant tickets. Um, those are, can just be purchased um, offline. Um, we have 6,000 distribution partners in Switzerland. And basically, if you buy such a ticket, you play it straight away and either you win or lose. Then we do sports betting, sorry. Uh, you can bet on almost um, any kind of sports within Switzerland, within Europe, and also some selected events around the world and um, we also do offer horse betting. Then last but not least, we have a product segment called entertainment. It's, um, there you have products like Clicks, Bingo. These are products that you can just play online on our website, swisslos.ch, um, and um, those products trying to entertain you while you're playing these products. All right, these are the products, these are the numbers. Um, just to give you an idea about our size, um, in 2015 we had like a net profit of 320 million euros and 30%, um, 13, sorry, <laughs> unfortunately, um, was done online. What happens uh, with the, the money we make? Um, as I said, we are cooperative, so that all the money that we earn at the end of the year that we haven't spent goes back to the cantons. And the cantons then, on their side, they support projects. 
uh, roughly around 12,000 projects a year. And these projects have like a, a, a good cause. They, they're like um, social projects or they are for the environment. Uh, we build, we help to build kindergartens and all that stuff. Below you see a graph um, which is just the distribution of roughly one euro. So if you play for one euro at our lottery, 55 cents uh, will be given back as gains to the customers. 31% will go into this good cause, the, the, um, the 12,000 projects I was um, speaking about. Then we have a small commission that we pay to our partners and obviously our operation costs of six cents. So that's about how one euro is distributed. Okay, enough about our company and now let's move on to the case that I would like to show you. Um, before we get started, um, I would like to uh, mention an assumption that we do. We at Swisslos believe that um, if you come to our website and you, 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 you want to register, um, it's because you want to play. Okay? There is actually no other benefit just to, to sign up instead if you want to play. There's no no information extra that you get, the only thing you can do is start playing. If, um, to play, obviously, you need money on your account, so there is like a, a strong connection between registration and payment. When we then looked at our data, we found out that we have a lot of successful registration, so those people prove they live in Switzerland, they're over 18, they're actually allowed to play, it's all good, but they never made one single payment. So we have a lot of um, customers who register who don't make a single payment. That's a bit weird, we thought. We had a closer look then, and well, we, we raised the question, okay, can we increase the number of registrations and people who do a payment on the same day? It's really important for us because obviously they need money on their account to play. And once they have made the first payment, well, there is like a customer journey. Like we interact, we can start interacting with the customers. Hopefully they will, they will win, they come back, or otherwise they're at least entertained, they come back. Um, so um, we had a look at these numbers. Um, you can see them here. Um, so that was before we had like a registration, successful, but no payment, 40%. So 40% never made a single payment. Then we had a registration and they made a payment on the same day. That's 52%. That was the good number. And then we have registration and payment later. So people who just made it two, three days later a payment of 8%. So now let's have a look at um, what, what the registration and payment process looked like before we started. Um, I'm, a, I'm afraid all these slides they will show now our homepage and well it's not in English so the slides will be in German but I think it makes it more interesting for you and a bit more challenging for me because I need to explain a bit more. So I will hopefully you can see it uh, from there as well. So if a customer comes to our website and he's, he wants to register he needs to, to click on that button to start the registration process. Then a light box opens and he's asked oops, to put in his phone number and then to continue. Um, according to this phone number, we, we search different databases um, to, to make a suggestion um, of the address of the name if we know something so the customer doesn't have to type in too many fields or just change maybe certain fields. So he completes them with the name, surname, address, where he lives, his email um, and his date of birth, clicks on continue, then he chooses um, his account name and the password to log in. He goes ahead, he receives um, a token via email to activate his uh, registration, so we sure the email and the person and they correspond, and then he clicks on continue and the registration is done. He's now back on our home site and he's logged in. You can see it here. In this case, it would be Max Muster. And obviously, the amount is zero francs. 
So now, probably he would like to start playing. Okay, first thing, he needs to put money on his account. So, what happened, he then needed to find this button here, which is called Compta. It's just like account. It's actually, we thought, well, obviously, that's self-speaking. You will click on there for sure. Well, if you click on there, there are a few options that you can choose. And this one here, the Ein und Auszahlung, the third one, I may be illustrated here as well. Yep. Um, so that means payment in Swiss German. So he clicked on there, then he typed in the amount he would like to, to charge on his account, choose a payment method, and then proceed um, the payment. So that was um, basically the registration and payment process, uh, which led to the numbers, as I said before. Well, then, luckily, we met Frosmo, and we could sit down together with them. Um, Exploring, okay, the, having a look at the current registration process and payment process, okay, to see how, how can we improve this? How can we make it better, uh, a better experience for the customer? Because currently, as it was, it's quite long and, you know, the first impression is, okay, I have to search for everything. Um, so we wanted to kind of avoid that to give a better first impression. So, we were thinking of shortcuts. And I would like to show the shortcut to you now again and uh, do a bit more here. So, the, it was the same thing to start. To register, click on the button, type in your phone number, fill in the data, choose a password, and then confirm. We're obliged to have all these steps by law um, in case, you know, to prove that people really you really need to live in Switzerland and you really need to be over 18. So we couldn't change much there. So but as you recall now, when the user clicked on continue, he came back to the home site and then he needed to, to search for the payment. So what we did now is a very, very simple thing. We added a new light box. That's actually, all of this is a Frosmo element that's done. Um, so this um, message here, asks the customer straight away, well, do, would you like to make a first payment? What is the amount you want to pay? 50, 100, 200 francs? And how would you like to pay it? By credit card, checks, whatever. You click on continue, you come to the payment site to see it again and confirm it, really. Um, here also you could, be, you could change the amount if you would wish to. So if you'd say, no, oh, 100 is too much, I'll change it to 80 maybe, I feel better. Okay, you can do that. And then you click on continue and the payment was done. So what happened is here you see the old registration and payment process, which included like eight, uh, sorry, nine steps even. And with adding this message, this Frosmo message, we could reduce um, the entire process um, to six steps, okay? So we just introduced here this shortcut, okay? All these steps he didn't need to, to see. If he doesn't want to use the shortcut, he can still use the old thing, there's no problem. So we haven't lost any information, but we have gained another, um, another way that the customer can follow. Okay, let's have a look at the results. So, what happened? We wanted to increase the, um, the payment on the same day after the registration. That's the, the, third, uh, the second column here in the middle. We could increase that actually by 10% with just this simple light box. Nothing big, nothing fancy, just you know, improving a bit the customer journey, make it a bit more soft, a bit more uh, stringent. So we could increase them from 52 to 62%. So we gained 10%. At the same time, first column, registration with no payment. So customers that never make a single payment, so far we could reduce it by 12%, coming from 40 down to 28. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, clients who made a payment later 
and that was also increased slightly by 2%. That's something we didn't want to achieve, but I think right now we believe it's okay because they know they have seen how to make a payment and they have been on the site. Um, so we hope they, they come back shortly afterwards. All right, summing up. Um, we, as a company, we achieved our goal. We wanted to increase our profitability, um, and we did. So now we have 10% of clients that do make a payment straight away. So that's just, if you want to say, pure money. That's extra money that we gained, that we before lost. Then, um, we believe, because now, according to our assumption, you really register to play. And by having more payments and less payment, um, sorry, by having more payments and less registration without any payment, we believe that you know, the customer journey, the customer experience is more soft, it's more easier. People find it, they don't get hassled, and they don't get lost on a track, you know, finding the payments and saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow they don't have time, you know, they forget about it, and well, so. Um, we believe that we could increase the customer experience as well, according to that. So, it's for us actually a very satisfying case because, you know, we achieved our goal and we could um, provide a better experience. So, we believe that, you know, we could make both parties a winner. Mm -hmm. That's really important for us. And now, just to give you a bit an outlook of um, what else um, we can or are willing to do and also maybe showing um, the capacities of Prosmo. Um, this is again the, the message that is created by Frosmo. Huh? Um, right now currently the amount, the average amount of it's about 58 euros, um, it's the same if you choose the old way or the new way. It's still roughly about the same, the first amount of payment. So now what we're trying to do, and that's actually really good in this technology, we can change the amounts that are shown to the customers. So we will have now four groups, A, B and C, uh, with different amount that we suggest to them. And now what we want to do is obviously we want to increase find the, the best numbers, you know, to enforce like a higher first payment. So we're right now, we're working on this. It started two weeks ago. Um, so now we, we're trying to find the perfect combination so that we could increase the first amount to a maximum. This is, um, yes, what we have done. That's already it. Um, I thank you for your attention and <laughs> questions. Thank you. Thank you.